Well, welcome to Big Lou Barbecue. Got five catfish right here, and that is going to be Christmas Eve dinner at Big Lou's house. We're going to do uh, blackened catfish on the grill. These little ones right here in the center, I'm going to um, cook whole. They're just going to be kind of grilled. I'm going to head them, skin them, gut them, keep them whole. The others will be, the other three will be filleted, and that's what we've got going on on Big Lou Barbecue. Merry Christmas. All right, well, I got this fish cut up. Now, the small ones I just left whole. I just gutted and headed. All right? And then the bigger ones, we did some, oh, fairly nice fillets. I fillet with a regular knife. And um, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, get these things olive oiled up and, um, and uh, covered in fish blackening seasoning. Now, I usually make fish blackening seasoning, but this time I got store bought. Uh, the way I make the fish blackening seasoning is you go to the grocery store and you find the Gidry's fish fillets, catfish fillets, and you look on the side of the Gidry's catfish fillets and it's got your blackening seasoning recipe. You snap a picture of it with your smartphone, you go home and you can make it. But I don't have any made up. So we're just using store bought. Um, a little piece of skin right there, we're gonna pull that off of there. Not gonna hurt nothing right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to olive oil these fish up just like this right here. Now, real blackening food, you're going to use, um, with real blackened food, you're going to use uh, butter. But we, I like it with olive oil. Maybe it's a little better for me. I don't know. Works well with olive oil. I like it with olive oil. All right. Then we take this and we just coat the, coat the fish. Just like that. Now see, I put some slats in these whole fish so they kind of cook through, all right? And we're going to put those on first. All right, and we just do this just like that right there. Just coat the blackening seasoning on there, all right? And you're going to have good, good fish. Now, all right, and these fillets, get them all uh, olive oiled up. Get them all olive oiled up. Just like that right there. Ooh, another piece of skin. Uh, Filleted these at night. We just cut that right off of there. We don't need that. All right, there you go. Anyway, um, just olive oil up. Cut them on one side. Cut them on the other side. Now I'm going to wash this container off. I know some of y'all getting grossed out by that. I'm going to wash this container seasoning off before I stick it back in the cabinet. It's got olive oil and fish on the hands. Just, just do it like that right there. All right. Now that you've seen enough of this, we're going to go out to the grill. Catch you in a minute. All right, another episode of Big Lou Barbecue. What we're doing is blocking catfish. First, you gotta get you some catfish. I went down the pond and caught mine. Now, this episode was supposed to be about grilled bluegill, but I didn't catch much bluegill today. I caught catfish. So, that's what we've got going on. Now, look right here. I caught two small ones, and I just skinned them, and headed and gutted them, and we're cooking those whole. Now, these right here, are filleted, and what I've got, you saw me how I olive oil them and put the blackening on it. I've got the coal set up, indirect heat and the uh, cast iron pan is set up for direct heat all right so got the uh, indirect heat cast iron pan set up for a um, skillet set up for direct heat these fish over here are indirect heat they're gonna take a little longer to do than these um, blackened ones we're just gonna set those fillets down on that cast iron just like that right there just a few minutes on each side we flip it to the other one. Uh oh, I'm gonna run out of room. I'm gonna have one more fillet to cook here in a few minutes. Oh! I don't have to cover it, but I cover it for the other fish. We'll be checked back in just a few minutes. Okay, well these fish are just about ready to turn over. Uh, we've got the light from a Coleman 639B from 1997. Kerosene lantern, cooking on kerosene, not white gas, kerosene, helping us light this grill tonight. Now look right here at these fish. They've been on here about two minutes. They're just about, they're ready to flip. So we're just gonna do them just like, well, do them just like that right there. 
Blackening is about the flavor, not about burning stuff. Now see, that one's looking real good. All right. And there. I'm gonna flip this one over to that side. Move them all over a little bit. Did this one get flipped? Mm, that one was the first one you flipped. Thank you. That's my camera lady, my daughter, doing a good job right there. And she said it was the first one I flipped. Let me flip it back. All right. So these fillets are gonna be good. Ooh, these fish look a whole did lot better than they did an the hour ago one? when they were swimming. Did you flip yeah, the last Yeah, they look one? better now. Did you flip that one? Yes, I flipped this one. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna let that cook for a few more minutes. We're gonna flip the whole ones and um, pull these off and we'll put that other fillet on. All right, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's Christmas Eve in Southwest Louisiana and it's about 79, 80 degrees. Uh, so I figured I'd go down to the pond, catch some fish today, and we're cooking these fish. These whole fish here are just about ready to turn. You see how that's turning white? Right there where we cut it open? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn them. Just take my spatula, and I may need to use my tongs here, but generally I'll just flip with a spatula. Just about, and I'm trying to do it one-handed. Like that. Then we flip this one. Just like that. I'm gonna slide them on over to the grill grate. He's starting to cook. Now when you cook fish with the whole hole like this, anytime you cook any meat with a bone in it, it tastes better than when you cook it without the bone. So when you cook whole fish, it tastes pretty darn good. But if you got a big one, uh, you need to fillet them. But the small ones you can cook whole. All right, Big Lou Barbecue. These uh, blackened ones are just about getting done. And um, we'll pull them off of here in just a few minutes. Just in case you were wondering, we're running this grill at about 425, 425, because you want that cast iron hot for blackened fish. All right, what I'm doing now, I'm flipping them one more time back to the pretty side, except this one, I'm gonna keep like that because it kind of fell apart. You see how they're getting kind of toasty right there? That's what you want. And uh, I won't flip these again. I will just pull them off. And they'll be ready in just another few minutes. Just a few minutes on each side. You really don't even need to put the lid on the grill. I have the lid on the grill for the uh, whole fish, which need to cook lower and lower. Fish are ready to come off of here. Blackened catfish fillets look just like that right there. Y'all, that looks so, that's the one that we tested with. That looks so much better than when they were swimming an hour ago. And if you've never had fish that was swimming that day, you need a new hobby, like fishing. <laughs> All right, uh, got that grill ready. And what we're gonna do is put this last big filet on here that wouldn't fit earlier. And I'm just gonna lay it down long ways, right like that. We're gonna cook it the same way. And about the time it's done, these whole fish will be done. You see them starting to take that pellicule right there? Oh, that's gonna be good. I may throw them on there and sear them a little bit before I put them on a plate. Well, I didn't show you me flipping it the first time, but you saw that with the other fillets. Flipping it just one last time, but once you see that blackened part up top, that's what you want it to look like. <laughs> cat. I saw that on video, but Cat almost got my other fillets. I had to pull them out real quick. Can't handle that. Now, while that finishes off, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this, um, these fish here and I'll put them on the grill. They're done, but I just kinda wanna crisp them up a little bit. Um, See them. Just like that right there. And then this one, we're gonna go just like this right here. And I will turn those over about the time I pull this off. They hadn't been on there but maybe a minute, but you see how they kind of browned up? On the side they were on the griddle. Ooh, I may need to get the spatula after that one. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's falling apart, so I know it's done. And I just messed that one up, y'all. 
<laughs> Should not have done that. But look at that flaky fish right there. Falling through the grate. That ain't good. Let's do it this way. What I should have done to flip it without. I'm still not going to be able to save it. Just use my fingers. How? Oh! <laughs> That's good stuff. Good stuff. <clears throat> All right, I think these fish are just about done. Look, it's Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. Whatever you eat at your house on Christmas Eve, have fun. Here in Louisiana, we're going to serve this with gumbo. You got to have gumbo on Christmas Eve in Louisiana. Got to have tamales right over the border in Texas. But it's gumbo in Louisiana. Whatever it is, clam chowder, whatever you're supposed to eat on wherever you live on Christmas Eve. Hope you're enjoying it. But we're having gumbo and we're going to have this blackened catfish. Look at that big filet right there. Woo! Pull this one off here. I'm going to have to get that pretty one to my wife. And I will take the ugly one. You kind of sign off? Mm, just a second. Turn this and come up to me. Okay. Blackened catfish fillets. Grilled whole catfish. Right here, Big Lou Barbecue. Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. All that jazz. Thank you. Catfish.